God bless you. You are welcome to Daily Charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. This well with you and your family in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercies unto us, unto our families, unto our church, unto our nation, unto the body of Christ all over the world. Father, take all the glory forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for gathering us again at your feet for our daily charge program. Be magnified forever in Jesus' name. Father, we soak our spirits, our souls, our bodies in the blood of Jesus Christ. And was that the blood of Jesus will sanctify and purify every area of our lives, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in this session, be with us. Lead us and guide us. Bless us far beyond our wildest imaginations. That at the end, we exalt your name forever in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to hinder the will of God for us in this program Holy Ghost Fire, silence them forever in Jesus' name. Cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. Bless the listeners all over the world. Oh Lord, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to bring out your own copy of Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional and open with me to where we have for today being Wednesday, the 19th day of June in the year 2024. Open with me to that page. Our topic says the secret of church growth. Part one, the secret of church growth. Part one. The memory verse comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 and 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 and 7. And it says, I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then, neither is he that planted anything, neither he that water it, but God that give it the increase. Motivational quote says, Christians are not of this world, but positively living out their faith, influencing lives for Jesus. Prophetic word for today. The Lord shall make you an effective oracle for his kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our fire scripture for today comes from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, from verses 22 to 41. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, starting from verse 22. To 41. I read it from the New Living Translation so that it will be easier for us to understand. Verse 22. People of Israel, listen. God publicly endorsed Jesus the Nazarene by doing powerful miracles, wonders, and signs through him, as you well know. But God knew what would happen, and he prearranged plan, and his prearranged plan was carried out when Jesus was betrayed. With the help of the lawless Gentiles, you nailed him to a cross and killed him. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life. For death could not keep him in its grip. King David said this about him. I see 
that the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. Verse 26, no wonder my heart is glad and my tongue shouts his praises. My body rests in hope, for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You have shown me way, the way of life, and you will fill me with the joy of your presence. Verse 29, Dear brothers, think about this. You can be sure that the patriarch David wasn't referring to himself, for he died and was buried, and his tomb is still here among us. But he was a prophet and he knew God had promised with an oath that one of David's own descendants would sit on his throne. David was looking into the future and speaking of the Messiah's resurrection. He was saying that God would not leave him among the dead or allow his body to rot in the grave. God raised Jesus from the dead and we are all witnesses of this. Now, he is exalted to the place of highest honor in heaven at God's right hand. And the Father, as he had promised, gave him the Holy Spirit to pour out upon us just as you see and hear today. God bless his word in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are still on the topic that says the secrets of church growth, part one. In the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 18, the word Jesus used for church is ecclesia. And ecclesia is spelled E double K L E S I A. Ecclesia is so translated in King James Version of the Bible 115 times. This Greek word ecclesia means an assembly. It means a group of people called together for a purpose. Thus, the word church means a called out people. A called out people. A separated people. A people set apart for a purpose. It also means a sanctified people. The word ecclesia means that God's people have essentially been called out of the world, called out of a world system that is hostile to God. That is why Jesus speaking of his followers, said, they are not of this world, just as I am not of this world. This is found in John chapter 17, verse 16. Church growth is both vertical and horizontal. We will go for a short break. We'll be back and we'll continue. God bless you. The mystery of water and the mystery of fire will come together and do wonders. Water and fire. It's the water of fire. 
taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. 6th of July 2024. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the Prayer City. Kilometer 12, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Nigeria. 0700 W18. Come with three bottles of water. One you will drink, one for the environment you live, and one for the battles of life. The July edition of PMCH Water of Fire. Don't miss this global event that God will use to prove the enemy wrong. This event will be made available on all our social media platforms. Come fasting to this event, believing God with your prayer request. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we are still on the topic that says the secrets of church growth, part one. We were saying that church growth is both vertical and horizontal in nature. Church growth is vertical when one is talking about spiritual growth of the church. That is growth in the knowledge and deeper knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This covers the areas such as bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit. These fruits include love, joy, peace, long suffering, which means patience. Then it includes gentleness, goodness, Faith, that is talking about faithfulness, being faithful. Then we talk about meekness and we talk about temperance, which is the same as self-control. You find this in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. That is a part of vertical church growth. Again, vertical church growth or spiritual church growth also includes the manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. These gifts of the Holy Spirit, they include the gift of word of wisdom, they include word of knowledge. They include the gift of faith. You also have the gifts of healing. Then you have the working of miracles. You have the gift of prophecy. And then you have the gift of designing of spirits. Then you have the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. And also the gift of interpretation of tongues. You will find all these outlined in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 to 10. This has to do with spiritual or vertical church growth. That is internal and spiritual development or growth of the church, the body of Christ. Then you have the ministerial gifts of the Holy Spirit. They are for the benefits of both vertical church growth and also horizontal church growth. Before we look at the horizontal church growth, 
it is necessary to mention that ministerial gifts are the gifts of the Holy Spirit given to the servants of God so that they can effectively minister to the body of Christ, minister to mankind, the word of God. Such ministerial gifts include the gifts to become an apostle. You call such persons apostles. Then you have the gift of prophecy. And those who, who operate in this gift are called prophets. Then you have the gift of the evangelists. They are only to go around and preach the word of God and win souls to Christ. Then you have the gift of pastors. Their own job is to teach and preach and grow the body of Christ. Then you also have the gift of the ministerial gift of teachers. Their own is to dissect the word of God and explain deep truths about God so that the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, the church, we grow in maturity in God. You will find this in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. The purposes of the ministry, remember we are talking about secrets of church growth, part one. The purposes of the ministerial gifts are, number one, for the perfection of the saints. Number two, for the work of the ministry, that is to do the work of God. Number three, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Number four, for the church to come to the unity of faith, that is, for the church of Jesus Christ to be united with one another. Number five, for the church to have knowledge, proper knowledge of the Son of God. Number six, for the church of Jesus Christ to be turned into a perfect spiritual man. That is spiritual unity of the body of Christ. Then number seven, for the church of Jesus Christ to come to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So these are some of the reasons why God has deposited ministerial gifts into the life of servants of God so that the church of Jesus Christ will be perfected. Then we come to the horizontal church growth. This is when the church of Jesus Christ grows numerically or in number. It is when the church of Jesus Christ expands as more souls are added to the church every day all over the world. In Acts chapter 2, verse 41, we see, he said, They that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto the church about 3,000 souls. In our memory verse of today, we see some of the secrets of numerical or horizontal church growth as revealed through the mouth of Apostle Paul as he addressed the church of God at Corinth. He said, I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then, neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Therefore, we note from that memory verse that number one, for there to be numerical or horizontal church growth, there was division of labor. Paul planted, that's one side of the job. Apollos watered, that's another side of the job. 
and the Lord God of hosts gave the increase. So everybody has his own function in the body of Christ in order for there to be proper church growth. Therefore, there is no reason whatsoever for people to be fighting and struggling. I must be here, I must be here, it must only be me and all that. For there to be proper church growth, biblical standard, there must be division of labor. Paul planted, Apollos watered, the Most High God gave the increase. Everybody must be at his own place, at his own beat, and maintain the ranks. Number two, the division of labor was clearly understood by everybody and was clearly respected. Number three, no minister took glory to himself. Every glory about what is happening, the church growth, all glory was given to God. We shall go for a short break and we'll be back soon. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. We are welcome back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are still on to Secrets of Church Growth, Part 1. So, we have seen that it is God that gave the increase. Everybody has his own function. In our fire scripture today, we see Apostle Peter, he preached the word of God out loud for the leaders of Israel to hear and to believe the word of God so that souls be won to our Lord Jesus Christ. In order for there to be marked expansion in horizontal or numerical church growth, the word of God, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ must be preached clean and neat without diluting it in order to win people to our Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Peter successfully cited many scriptures in the Old Testament to preach Jesus Christ, thereby making it strongly convincing to the Jews to believe and receive him, receive our Lord Jesus Christ into their lives as their Lord and their personal Savior. We ought to do the same in times like this, in preaching the gospel to sinners, so that they too can repent and give their lives to our Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Peter established, Apostle Peter established that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He said, God has made this same Jesus, whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Therefore, for church growth, they, there must be clear preaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. When they had 
the word of God from Peter plain. They were pricked in their heart and they asked him, what must we do to be saved? He told them exactly what they would do to be saved. And what happened? They were baptized and 3,000 souls were added to the church of Jesus Christ that same day. The Lord wants us to copy that and our church will grow. God bless his word in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray these prayers with me. Pray them loud and clear from the bottom of your hearts. Power to impact my generation. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Power to impact my generation. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Power to impact my generation. Fall upon me. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I want you to pray again loud and clear. Say, my life shall attract people to the kingdom. My life shall attract people to the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My life shall attract people to the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My life shall attract people to the kingdom of God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Again, I want you to pray like this. My calling. Receive fresh fire. My calling. Receive fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. My calling. Receive fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. My calling. Receive fresh fire. Receive fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. My calling. Receive fresh fire. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I want to pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for answering all our prayers. I pray that your word will be a fruit in the lives, in the hearts, in the minds of all that have listened to you and heard you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for everyone that has taken part in this special daily charge program, all the deep desires of their hearts in line with your perfect will, bring them to pass in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit Divine, fight all the battles for your children and give all the victory. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.